as one or the other may know, I like it when my shots move. Not only does it look good, it also opens up new ways of representing things freehand via gimbal with a pan shot on a tripod. Everything looks actually tasty AF. But there are always those specific one or two things in shooting that complicates everything to the extreme. As a solo shooter you are either behind or in front of the camera and mostly you cannot get your shots super accurate. Because of that, well hello automated slider. Since I already own a motorized travel slider, which was also actually the first video that I published here on this channel, by the way. Backpack, slider. It works! Awesome! I wanted to get a longer automated slider for more impressive slide shots, so... Okay. Two hundred eighty-nine euros, eighty centimeter slide length, app control, a nearly silent motor, and a metal bar in the middle that can change your camera angle. Which actually brings me to my first point, which is actually a negative, but somehow became a positive over time. But let me explain. After waiting two weeks for the slider to arrive at my place after ordering, it was pretty easy to actually assemble it, except one of the screws that should hold the middle bar in place was actually missing. And so the bar was actually flopping around while the camera was moving, which made the slider for me unusable. So I began chatting with the newer support and man, that was actually quite a good support call. We exchanged five different mails in total, going into the details and the closer we got to the actual problem, the better it actually went. They actually sent someone into their, I guess, basement or lager to make a photo of the screw missing so that I could buy the right diameter screw in the German hardware store, which, well, I couldn't because they are closed right now due to COVID. And uh, since they couldn't send it to me because of they are sending it from England, uh, which means Brexit and the immense costs and taxes that come on top of goods that are imported into the EU, which would be crazy stupid in that case for just a single screw. So they sent me a photo of it and returned 20 euros back to me. Wow. Okay, that was. Uh, this is a, a cheap slider mad respect to their customer service for that. The best thing though, while this was actually going on, I decided that I wasn't interested in the middle bar camera perspectives anyways. So after fiddling around with the second really conveniently placed screw, I was finally able to get rid of it. it took me more than a day to actually so this is actually now the review of the newer automated app controlled compatible slider but without the middle bar. Hi, you're welcome for that little story. First I want to get into the most important thing, the camera slider. While not cheap, is actually worth every penny. The quality, the workmanship and the robustness are very good. The packaging was also very good and the slider including accessories is well, delivered in a carrying bag with some protective foam in it. Then it's time for the setup. Search for the app in the App Store, which is not that easy at all. And first of all, wonder why the app is actually not called something like newer slider app, but Qiong Chong's Wing or something like that. Well, it comes in a super simple design and it can actually do three things in total, of which I only use two for my purposes. First, the slider actually moves from A point to B point, which I can specify in a specific speed that I can determine. And second, you can do a loop with it. 
can do a loop with it. What you have to pay attention to is that the slider should not go all the way to the edge, otherwise there will be slight problems with the motor. Always stop a short amount before and a short amount on the other side with the AB points unless you want it to break uh, right away. So let's actually take a look at some shots that I did over the last probably two months with this slider. It drives clean and calm when balanced, can be used actually for interview shots. If you use a heavier, perhaps a rigged out cinema camera, I'm not sure if it can take that. You should either place the slider on the floor or fix it with two identical tripods, otherwise it can easily get out of balance while moving the uh, slides. With my A6100 it doesn't have any problems at all, even if you put it at a slight or a steeper angle, it just takes it. I think the weight it can take is actually 10 kilos. So, conclusion. All in all, a very good, quiet and price conscious slider that is absolutely usable for standard things like point to point shootings or interviews because of the loop function. But what I have been wondering all the time is what happens if you combine it with some more stuff? like